Hey, quick reminder, there's a new YouTube channel. It's called Kajo Plays, where all the variety content is going to be uploaded. It's in the description. You can subscribe to that channel if you want to watch variety. This channel will only be League of Legends and co-streams, but you can subscribe to this one too. Anyway, enjoy the video. T1 wins, they auto lock worlds. Uh, I don't think so. I think they have to win the split to lock worlds. Oh no, they have to go top two. Oh yeah, you're right. That's it. They they they'll, they will get to the upper bracket. Okay, look, this is look T1, KT, Gen G, and uh, and uh, and uh, what's it called? HLE. If they win this, they go to the upper bracket, and if they win that, they go to the finals. Then they lock worlds. I think. They need to go, they need to win two best of fives. But it depends on points, it all depends on points. Because KT and Gen.G have more points, so it depends on what happens. Okay, they ban Aatrox. Nico Alistar bans, okay, not bad. Zaya ban. I mean, they'll first pick Kai'Sa. I don't think they're LeBlanc enjoyers. I think they'll just go Kai'Sa. Yeah, Kai'Sa ban is good. Hmm, what do you first pick here is KT? Le LeBlanc, Maokai, Jace, Rel. Jax is open for 2-3. They want Tristana. I liked the Jace Maokai, but I don't like T1's Jace Maokai. Faker was not having great games. I prefer Faker on Azir. They're gonna deny Jax. Now, does he go Gregas? Does he go Renekton? What does Keen play into this? They can play Tristana bot if they want to play Azir. They can play Tristana minute if they want to play Zeri. Yeah, Rel's good pick. I think he should pick LeBlanc on 3, no? LeBlanc or Annie on 3 for T1. Both are pretty good. But then you're dropping AD carry. Nautilus looks good if they pick Zeri. Some lockdown for Zeri. Double AD carry. They're dropping top. Nautilus is good. LeBlanc is good. Azir is good. Yeah, I like Azir. I like Faker Azir. Very nice. Much better, rather than Jace. What can you target against Guma? Draven is probably a good ban. Lulu ban, they want to deny Rel jungle flex. I do think Draven ban is not bad for against Guma. They can just play Draven Nautilus, can't they? Ooh, they go for Rakan. Now, KT could play Nautilus if they want in Rel jungle. They could play like Nautilus Gregas. Wait, yeah, there's a the Nautilus. They can do uh, Gregas here. They can do... Uh, I don't know, what does Keen play in the Jax? Don't pick Nar. Yeah, Nautilus Gregas, no surprise there. Now they can last pick Sivir. Ooh, okay, fine. Well, I actually like T1's draft a lot, if they can slow the game down. I like it. Sejuani Jax, really good bridge early game. Sivir, later on, will be strong with Azir. They'll have more backline damage. T1 have really good engage, they have decent frontline, they have really good side lane, they can play 4-1, Jax can group, double AD carry versus Jax. KT have a lot of, they, they're relying a lot, the reason I say that is they're relying a lot on aiming and BDD to carry this game. A lot of uh, reliability on them. Keen is, I think it's the first time in a while that Keen's playing a tank. I feel like Keen's been playing only carries, he's been playing only Renekton, he had like one Malphite game. Other than that, he's been playing Jax, Renekton, Rumble, Fiora. Gragas will go AP, yeah I know, but he won't have like the full carry potential, right? We'll see. Passive early there and pushing through as there's level Whoa, three. Oh, really nice jump by BD there. Whoa, that E was not worth it at all. So Zeus is proxying. Is he fine? He should be okay. Remount flash. Oh, he is gonna flash in. Looks for Zeus here, and now that red buff is ticking down. Counter Strike does BDD. come in, but another stun comes through, and BDD will spot out exactly what's going on here. Owner will move up, and Zeus is gonna try and get over. Oh, oh Owner, so you're clean. Out of Owner, but maybe he's gonna give up his own life. He's gonna have to flash now. He gave the jump and then stopped the Tristana jump, but now they're all gonna die. Faker might need to TP up there, but I don't know if he's gonna get there in time. The first domino goes down, it topples a huge domino. I mean, we're gonna get into it in a moment. It's not over yet. All right, Kane, let's see whether you can lock this Oh, good God, it's a horror for T1. Oh my God. It's a disaster for T1. Yeah, and Lehen's froze mid, so he has to overstay and BDD can TP back in time. It was just Zeus being greedy when jungle's passing top. I mean, Keen does this really simple. Look what he does, Keen. Just walks up to Zeus. E, W, Q, boom. Tanks, boom. Early Drake is good, but Faker is... Whoa, this position. Okay, he just goes in. Well, bro. T1 has a lot of collateral damage in their comp. Sivir, Azir, Rakan, Jax. That's not very single target. There's a lot of random collateral. Do you want to have control? 80s are matching. 
Uh, on this I think T1 maybe should look to play this slow. I wouldn't blame them too much if they back up a bit and let them let them have it here, KT. Oh, they got six on Rakan, though. They get six on Nautilus here, KT? Oh, they do. Okay, I give. T1 are fighting this. This is bold. This is really bold. Their champs really struggle against T1's champs. Oh my god, Kaz got such a good engage. BDD is going to kill everyone. Oh my god, BDD triple kill. Oh, Carrier? Still, Carrier is going to kind of outplay him there a little bit as the explosive charge ain't quite. Does Carrier W over the wall here? Oh, he's out. What? Just barely enough the fuck? He got out. Fails to get there. All BDD had to do there was not jump onto Carrier. Through to take him out. But, but he did, damage. so then he, he could flash back and then W over. Yeah, T1, like T1 Lehens does really good here. He gets nice ulted, but then he flashes the Rakan ult, Keen ults them, body the slams him. Okay. Uh, oh, Faker's dead. Maybe dead as Cuz is gonna turn up as well. Okay. Uh, Faker's last auto attack there for Oh KD. boy. Do it, will this Rosanna is KT off the rails now. I think KT should look for Drake, yeah, but BDD needs to base, but he has TP. I'm surprised they're, they're not doing Drake right now. Faker's dead with no TP. Drake's up. They have TP on Tristana, and Rel could have gone here over the wall, but instead he went to Krugs. So I'm not sure why Cuz went to Krugs there. He should have been on Drake already. Even Carrier's like, huh? They're gonna fight Herald and do Drake? Holy fuck. Two plays at once. They find some T1 members in no, they're running past Herald Drake. Pit, and let's see what's going to happen. Lance is going to miss the hook. There's the glacier. They're going to lose to Herald. They're all going to get out. To Keen. The eye is yeah, going to be uh, Kaz has been blundering a bit. Yeah, they should have done Drake or base with Nautilus and ran top or something. The most important thing was they took the Herald away. The buff doesn't matter. But if they had if they had Herald with Tristana, that mid tower is dead. Nice kill, bot. Well, KT just feels like they're kind of everywhere. I think it's because they have mid mid unlocked so much. Mid is just completely unlocked. Yeah, this is why I said T1's comp is good if they can slow the game down a lot. Taking away Herald slows it down. But uh, they are not slowing it down enough. They're getting caught out a lot. Zeus almost has Sunder. That'll swing top matchup a little bit. But the Everfrost Gragas with Lucidity Boots. Oh my god, Lehens. That was disgusting. He tries to flash hook Faker and make Faker flash backwards and then land it. That was obviously a flash predict. Crown, I feel like, is not Carrier? super great here. Well, uh, we'll see how it does. Oh, uh, Faker just dashed in. Well, oh, he really wanted that rel, huh? Oh, my God, Keen. Well, KT are snowballing this game so quickly. They're going to get top tower as well, I think. So, one minute on Drake, Infernal Soul, one minute on Herald. Man, they have so many ways to snowball this game. They get top tower. Zeus is ganking Gregas on vision. Needs to get the bot. But I think he just TP yeah, top or something. With Faker. The wall. They, they just double TP top, didn't they? They're going to lose bot tower now. Holy oh, mama. I think T1 just throws everything in this dragon fight. Just throw it all at, K at KT. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. Carry a spinter cell. No, it's the dragon fight. They're going to fuck him with the dragon fight. But I don't know how they're going to fuck him with the dragon fight because Guma is not getting to that pit. I can tell you that for a fact. Guma is not getting to that pit at all. Maybe owner can escort him. I mean, if they're going for a... Okay. Gumushi going to have the spell shield pop. Great. Well, Gumushi is just in. Yeah. He's way too He's close never to getting Vegas. into river, ever. And the cask that was going to come yeah. through. Yeah. The idea was good, but... Flank, I don't know. Guma yeah, can never join. Got, he's still they're going to try and make an overplay here. Play, so if BDD jumps over this wall into Tribush, this is really... Oh, yeah, okay. This is a kill, maybe. I don't think so. I don't Surprise! Oh, Carry us here. We found him. We found oh him. my god, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. He battle dances, try and get himself out. I thought they would go three men dive because I saw Zeus behind I mean, bots. Now it's Zeus' turn. Like, okay, Splinter cell. Zeus. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> it worked. The long con. The long con. I can't believe Jax has not pushed the way away away for like four minutes, five minutes, just looking for ja for Trisana with Garia. Well, they have double Navori, double Static Stick. I can tell you, KT is just gonna blast them now. They should just take this Herald. To, oh, can they get this Herald in time? No, they can't. 
And, uh, I do think a Baron start is something uh, they can look for, though. Like Here comes the Baron Force. The only the thing that T1 can do now is get this bot tier one with Zeus TP advantage. To be in that one, he has I no guess, wave, uh, though. The next wave's here. Uh, oh, it's uh, I mean, objective a bounty, yeah, but I think KT, but let's see how clean your Baron is. Oh, they're 100% forcing Nash. Or a fight, that works too. Just hook someone. Did they just walk up and hook Owner? Huh? Felt like T1 kind of gifted them that. He's gonna use it. Well, We're TPing in. Carrier's okay, in there. The the do they have the damage to kill them? It looks great. The no, they don't. But he's one versus three is what it feels like. Now he's gonna be able it to looked great, but they don't have damage. Lose no one, get a baron. They don't have totally damage. Yeah, that's it. That's Azir. That's Severe. That's Carrier Flash. Owner, owner Flash. Zeus Flash. They just five-man flash for that. That felt a bit too easy for KT. That pick on Sejuani. Oh, he got knocked away on his flash as well, Zeus. That's so unfortunate. I don't mind T1's draft, but I think if they're T1 now, game two, they should play more early game. Like... Or like, um, focus on in this instance, like Rel Tristana. This seems really obnoxious to deal with if you're playing as here severe. The Jax no, denial is hard. I don't know. They need more pushing lanes. They need more more strength in the early game. Here comes 40 seconds on the soul. KT play top tier two into mid tier two. They didn't prep bot tier two, but I think they can get it easily. Base from Tristana. Tristana runs bot pushes up. They get Drake on the push out, or they just go for it first. This TP feels wasted because jungle support just based. Or, or support top just based. So he's gonna push. Drake's up. Zeri's spacing. I feel like BDD's kind of wasting bot waves here. Oh well, doesn't really matter. This game's won. How bad are Damon? Yeah, Damon's pretty shit. <laughs> okay, Drake fight. They are so far behind. They have no flashes. They have deforted. Maybe Owner will get the smite, but it doesn't matter. Here comes Cuz. He has flash engage. That ult hit me. Glacial prison. A Narnian Glacial Prison. Oh man, T1, they have so much damage on the carries. They, they would have so much damage on the carries, but they, don't have, they haven't had enough time. You can see it almost worked. The frontline burn was good, but they're too far behind. If they had like 10 more minutes, that would have been a great fight, but yeah. They are too far behind. Game 1 blue side goes to KT. Don't be game 1 endies. This was a stomp, but don't be game 1 endies. Let's see what T1 can cook up on blue side. See if they can take game 2. A few more kills to pad the stats. Zaming grabs himself a double. Alright, let's see if T1 can bounce back on game 2. Well, to be honest, T1 can review a few things. They can review mid and bot picks. They can review this early fucking this early proxying that Zeus was doing, which I think was just way obno way too obnoxious, especially considering it's enemy jungle spathing top, and they should have known that. And uh, I think draft is fine. Can maybe change some things, you know, if you're picking Jax on four five uh, on one two three, you could ban Gragas on four five. If you're blinding Rakan, you could ban Nautilus on four five. I feel like their draft was really obvious to read from KT the the four five Nautilus Gragas. It was free B with double AD. They banned Zeri Alistar. Why do they ban Alistar and Rel? Hmm, maybe they do on Nico, yeah. But is Nico first pick really the play here? Tristana's open, Maokai's open, Azir, LeBlanc. It's not like the Nico is gonna be winning lane. Aatrox could be a first pick, but I think Keen wants to play Jax into it. I wouldn't first pick Jax either. Ah, oi, they can just play Tristana or Azir into it to get push. I feel like they can just play what? Azir, Sejuani, Jax? KT would happily play that. Do they run it back at Tristana draft or do they go for... They don't have Rel, so they could run a Tristana draft here. They could also run LeBlanc. I don't think Nico is going to have a strong lane. Yeah, I think Azir, Sejuani, Jax is the play. Just do what T1 did on red side. I think KT will run that easily. But I think don't think they should pick Jax on two. They should pick Azir here. Or Renekton. Mm, I don't like Renekton too much. I feel like Zeus can manage... I think Zeus can manage against this. You can even drop Zeus here if you want to do bot lane. I, I also think they should early pick jungle. I like Vi. I like owner's Vi. I think Zeus can play Orn. He can play Aatrox. He can play anything. Nocturne. Ah, fuck. LeBlanc is such a good pick here. I think Azir is the best answer into Nico. But LeBlanc is definitely better here against Nocturne. But Azir is good. What happens if they ban... Yeah, okay, so they went at Aatrox. I think Orn ban is good as well. They're playing Nico Nocturne. They need Orn. They need Orn 100%. They need Orn. 
To be banned Draven though, uh, what AD are they playing here? Are they playing Nila, Nila Orn here on 4-5? They could play Nila Orn on 4-5. I think that goes well for their draft. Gragas is fine ban, but yeah. they should ban. Is Brown ban worth it? I can see Nila Orn, I can see Draven Rumble. It's real. I think they're playing Nila. Leona's good. I think they have to go full dive. If they play like Jax here, I think they're griefing. As much as you can play Nocturne Jax on side, I don't think that's the way you win against KT. Yeah, okay. Rumble, I kinda, it's kinda okay. They don't have any frontline at all. It's full psycho, this, this draft by T1. What AD can you pick here to survive? Maybe, what AD can you play to survive against Draven, Nocturne, and Rumble? Ezreal's banned. Varus is suicide, I think. <laughs> uh, KT's draft in, in isolation is good. I'm just not sure how this is going to go. This is a lot of dive. If this dive doesn't work on that Varus, game's over. This is one of those games where Renekton can really carry because everyone's going past Renekton. Renekton's standing here, everyone goes around him. And then everyone bursts down Varus. You don't have that much DPS and it's on Renekton to just kill everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, Aiming's dead, no? He's dead. What the hell? How did that happen? What the hell? That's a huge start for T1. I mean, that will, as much as AD carry in this comp for KT is going to get absolutely murdered in fights, I don't think, obviously, you can't make that mistake. Whoa, Zeus can really fuck keen here. Yeah. Okay, lanes are going good for T1. Alright, let's see it, T1, let's see it. We got some control, we got top push, we got, mid, we got bot push. I think mid can start contesting as well. They're going to collapse on him here. Nice steal by owner. Okay, T1 woke up. T1 woke up. T1 really woke up. Holy fuck. Zeus can dive him here. If he gets his, uh, his, his heat up a bit. How much regen does he have? He has second wind, I imagine, as well. And Doran shield ticking and the potion. He needs to be careful, though, because two tower shots, he's dead here, Zeus. With a stun. Good flash W him here if he gets on... The oh, I think Keen was trying to... Oh, those range creeps were just in range. It's a kill. Yeah. That's a huge kill for Zeus. Okay, T1. Yeah, they need to the snowball. They need to get the ball rolling. Bot's winning really hard. Top's winning really hard. It's the Guma Zeus classic. Smashing side lanes. Get them a win. Oi. Oh, he missed the E. Oh, if Leona hit the E, they could follow up with Varus Q, maybe. No cleanse now, though. That means Lehen's saved Ignite. They could dive bot here. It's a very risky play. They could call down Cuz and play for a bot dive. No cleanse, but yeah. Looks like they're not going to go for it. Maybe they will go for it, actually. Oh my god, Rumble. Jesus, man. Just took half his HP. Is the bot dive going to be pulled? He's thinking about it, Cuz. They could try it. They're thinning the wave, though, T1. Yeah, they're not crashing this in any universe, are they? Hook back in. Guma is auto spacing like a maniac. Oh, 8 HP. My god, it's Armageddon on the bot lane, isn't it? Absolute Armageddon. They're gonna move mid here. Faker needs to base. Oh, Zeus. He dives Keen 1v1. Man, Zeus Rumble is something else, isn't it? Look top. Look at top. He hasn't based yet. Top is done. It's the Zeus wake up Zeus 1v9 game. Sometimes he's playing even. Sometimes he can't do anything because his team's griefing. Sometimes he does this. That's Zeus for you right there. Oh man, I think this rumble. Every time I see Zeus rumble, he's just clapping. It's the T1 rumbles, you know? Marin, ever since Marin was on the roster, every top lane for T1, they love their rumble, don't they? Mamma mia, look at top items. Longsword versus Blasting One Boots Giant Spelt. Oh, Keen, if he dies here and doesn't get a one for one, it's over. Like, the top lane is completely lost. Oh, it's over. Good night, sweet prince. This is a T1 win. This is a T1 win. It's two levels up, 40 CS, two plates. He has demonic in base, or Rylai, whatever the fuck he wants first item. Lehens needs to start leaving. Oh, he went to Sork Shoes, that makes sense too. And Dark Seal. Damn, he's gonna farm them. 
Nautilus almost same CS as top eight minutes in. What the hell? Now, I wonder, is this because Cuz died and gave him double buffs that this happened? Was this a void? Was this mainly because Cuz died? I think the red buff, blue buff combo just gave Zeus enough sustain to stay through his TP and then just bully him the fuck out and gave him all the XP to get six first. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a... It definitely helped, but uh... Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they overlapped the CC. Yeah, he's dead. Is he dead? Oi, Nimbus Cloak! Was that Nimbus Cloak? Oh my god, he spell shielded it. Oh, they're both out. Carrier just solo killed Lehens! Why is T1 staying? They have Rumble soon? Like, Zeus is so greedy. What are the Zeus? T1, Mama. He's a minion. Run, Faker. What the hell? They're all alive still. Oh, he touched the kill. Oh my god, T1 are all psychopaths. They had to the snowball early, but my my god, I didn't expect this. Playing on the absolute edge of everything. Man, if I was KT, I would be so triggered. Oh, big hook. No flash. Draven cash in, mod check. Guma didn't get the cash in. Oh, he got it now. Oh, and Zeus is here. Uh, carry a 1 HP again. Oh, Keen is so tilted, man. I would be so tilted. I would be so fucking tilted, man. Are you kidding? Look, top gold, man. In 12 minutes. Yo. How do we play game? All pro LCK top team. <laughs> bro, if T1 win this series, the amount of fucking outrage about LCK all pro is going to go ballistic. T1 fans are going to unleash on fucking LCK. Oh, KT. Oh, five best players in every role. <laughs> Lost to T1 with Poby for four weeks. Oh, good job. T1 fans are ready. Their shotguns, gone. Come on, T1. Wait, win the series. They're going to unleash. I mean, I don't blame them, to be honest. Like, all pro sometimes is so annoying. I mean, we had the same in Europe. Five Mad Lions players, didn't we? And then they just got rolled. <laughs> so here comes the dive from BDD. This is going to be a big play from KT. That's the question is if he commits to this. I feel like he's, he's used enough time here that he should. And the fact that Herald's dead, he should. Here it comes. Oh, Nocturnal. A bit wasted there. He's going to die. Uh, T1. Zeus TP'd as well. Or was it Faker TP? My bad. Uh, he was Zeus as he was TPing, okay? Don't blame me. Thought the game was over? I mean, the game is over. It should be over. The, like, this game should be done. That was a huge play from KT. If that backfired that play, then the game was, like, open. But it's not open yet. It's not open yet. The Azir is a problem for T1. Because the Azir isn't that far behind. The Azir is pretty even in the game, and he has crown. The Varus being ahead is not that big of a deal for T1, because the Varus has no peel, and he's against Nocturne Rumble. So he needs five stopwatches, six Guardian Angels, and seven flashes, and he could probably live. I'll shave for the finals. Oh! He's putting his beard on the line, saying the T1 will win this game? Respect, Wolf! Respect, okay? Respect! Okay, you're putting your life on the line! You know, you go down with the ship! You go down with the ship! Now I'm now as much as I like I wanted a good series and I wanted T1 to win this game so we could have a good series. Him shaving his beard sounds kind of funny. So now we're here for KT. Come on in KT. Get rid of that beard. And then we get a the T1 can win the next two games and we'll have a banger game five for the, the telecom wars. But now we got stakes. Now we got stakes. It's actually win-win now. If T1 wins, it's a it's a series. If KT wins, there's no beard. 18 minutes Renekton Gore Drinker. Yeah, I'm useful, guys. I promise. I have my gore drinker at 18 minutes. <laughs> Can't Faker match this TP and hold this top tier one after he pushes bot? I think it's worth the TP here if you get it up. Uh, but they could TP with a Zier. They could TP with a Zier and then dive him, so probably not worth it. He, he presses Dominus and stuff like that. But He's not worth money. It's okay, right? Yeah, um, they're gonna give the Oh, the Dark Seal. Well. Oh my goodness. Oi, Faker. Tried to drift out to the Sejuani ult. 
has Pop Blossom comes in. Oh, God. That's <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, uh, actually, it's not okay. They're going to get bot tier one for that. They need to get top tier two now, T1. They're pinging defense here, KT. They can't get it, though. They don't have any tower damage. They're giving up objective bounties on sides here. The gold is coming back slowly. The gold is coming back. They were 7k up T1. Now they're like 4 or 5. These objective bounty side lane tier 1s are... They can't afford to give these up. This is the power of... Uh, well, the disadvantage of playing Ignite top, right? Top could TP to cover this, but... He, now, the problem with T1's comp, in a sense, is it's a very shotgun comp, right? Nocturne, Nico, Rumble, Dravenult... Like, if that does not get a kill, and KT flash out, it's doomed. If this game gets to 30 minutes, it's doomed. Why? Because then they can afford defensive items. They can afford Zonias, they can afford GAs, they can afford... Things that stop you from getting one shot. There's one of the shotgun bullets. Here comes another, and here comes a third. Do they get a kill? Yeah, they do. They should win the fight then. Wow, that flash W did no damage. Oh, Zeus dies actually. What the fuck? But Guma's cooking. It's two for two. Ooh, two for two on a Nico flash. If Renekton buys Hullbreaker, now nah, he doesn't win one v one, right? Never. We don't cope. If EU loses, we don't cope. Oh, we. Rumble ult is pretty big, but can they get the front line at least? Oi. Uh, it's one fight, one fight, one fight. Triple kill. Carrier on a mission to get Faker a ward to TP in to fight the Strike. Here he goes. Is that owner or Faker in mid? It's, it's owner. Makes sense. Oi, Faker! GG. Game is over. Alright, this comp worked. I was skeptical because of how, like, not proactive, I guess is a good word, of using T1 have been recently in the early game, especially because of owner. But, I mean, top lane blasted, bot lane killed level 1. They had hugely winning sides. Huge winning sides for T1. Well, Wolf's beer is saved. His spirit is saved. And we got a series. Everyone in T1 say thank you, Zeus. The Shy's little bro. Yeah. I mean, that was a good performance on Rumble. The Shy would be proud of him. Kai Sazeri bans, really. Are we going to get a Tristana ban as well? Nautilus ban. Ooh, they take the Nico. I feel like Faker LeBlanc here could do wonders. Faker LeBlanc could do wonders here. Azir LeBlanc, Tristana. Ooh, Alistar, Alistar, Alistar 1 2? What the hell? What the fuck? Ing fuck. Are we gonna get Rumble on 3 here with Maokai Alistar? Are they setting up a Jace? Are they setting up a Maokai? They gave up. What did they give up here? They gave up Rel Jungle. They gave up Jax Blinds. KT's doing the Nocturne. What the fuck's going on in LCK? Okay. Alistar, I like Asriel. Trundle sounds pretty fire here. Silas is also like juice, but they already picked Nico. Oh, I, 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 I don't like Nocturne. I don't like Nocturne. In isolation, Nocturne is a champ. It's just bad. It's just bad. I get it, though. Nick, Nico Nocturne? Yeah, we can get good engage, but they have Alistar. They fell into T1's trap card here, I think. I like a lot of things here. I like Azir. I like LeBlanc. I like Rumble. I think Brown Ban can work. Yeah, no, it can't. Leona Ban can work, actually. Leona Ban. Jax Ban. Renekton Ban is... It's okay. KT bans, they could ban. Draven ban is fine. I really feel like Orn for T1 is absolute sex, but the problem is they have a lot of AP. Severe ban? Hmm, I'm surprised they ban Severe. Rakan ban is fine. Hmm, what does Lehen's pick for engage here? I mean, he can just play Rel if he wants. They could take Rel away here, put Maokai top, and then play an AD on 5, but I don't think that's worth it. But it does stop their engage. It does stop a lot of their engage. They don't have much damage, though. Hmm. Just pick AD, I guess, and see what happens. They have got Maokai Flex, though. Wait, hey, what do they pick here? I don't know what you pick. Alistar? I mean, Samira Nila works with Alistar, but they're against Ezreal, which is really annoying. Draven could work, but they can play Ezreal Braum, which is really annoying. Aphelios is probably the safe one, you know. Wow, Lucian? Oh my god, Gumayushi's channeling his inner Uzi. Uh, Braum is pretty good here, but yeah, I think they have to go Rel, don't they? Wow, Milio with, with Nocturne Nico? There's the Jax. I feel like Zeus is going to play Nar, but I don't know if it's good against Jax no Nocturne. Sion seems like an easy pick, but 
Feels terrible to pick Sion. Galio makes sense. No way is he playing Fiora into it. Oh, no, it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible. Don't do it. They have double global. Yes, yeah, Sion. It's good. Sion's good, but... Oh, Renekton's terrible as well, isn't it? Oy. Okay, Kasante, we got there in the end. Somehow we got a tank. Fine, we'll allow it. What is going on here? KT are... What? What the hell is going on? Why are they dropping this KT? They should stay. Okay, no flash on Alistar for Nocturne Flash, but I feel like Nocturne Flash is useless because Nocturne is going to stay in his own jungle and power farm and he's against the Maokai, so it's not like he can be punished. Might be a bit of a problem for the Alistar, but he has Hex Flash. Aiming Ezreal, though. Aiming Ezreal is sex. Aiming is one of the best Ezreals in the world, true and based. Invade actually still works with Nocturne No Flash. I thought Nocturne would sit in his own jungle and clear at the top, but yeah, I guess he needs to stick around bot side and he has so much bot push. Oh, Carrier wants to move, but he can't. Oh, he's denying so many camps here. Does he invade his Krugs now, actually? Nah, too much, too much, too much. Oh, this Nocturne's gonna get six really early. Top's winning. Wow, oh, they have such a heavy winning top side here. I mean, Zeus will recover a bit on that wave, but the Q should take small ones from Cus. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Owner is level three. He's gonna get level four off wolves, but he's level three. It's five minutes, six minutes. Level four now, but I mean, Cuz will be five after Crux, probably, right? Yeah. So he's a level down. This Nico pick looks so oppressive. I actually didn't expect it to be this hard of a winning lane. Yeah, like he is perma pushing. Was Zeus? Zeus? Maybe Jax had no E and he thought he could all in him. I mean, he was winning one v one, but he just didn't respect jungle at all. If jungle wasn't there, I think he wins those. And he wants to crash the wave as well. Yeah, Jax no E. Okay, that now it makes sense. The problem is, if Jax had a ward, the only reason. Jax lived there was because he jumped to Nocturne, right? If he had a ward and jumped over, I think... I don't know. Very situational. First Drake makes sense. They have so much mid push. They should be able to contest Herald as well. If they can get Galio 6 here, KT. How far is Karia? Yeah, Kuz has no flash here. So if he commits, he's going in. Karia probably gets 6 off the wave. No, he doesn't. He's still a little bit... He's one wave away. KT's not giving. Faker's dead. Oh, he got knocked up on his flash here. BD couldn't commit onto Faker. King got him. Cuz will die. 3v3. They have a ward as well. Zeus is... Nice knock by Karia. Oh, Zeus! Oh, Zeus is kiting them so well! It's unfortunate for KT because Lehenz goes in and so does Kuz, but watch BDD. He wants the ult Faker here, but Karia combos him. Look. He wants to flash there, but actually Faker would maybe dash out anyway. His ult wasn't optimal, but Keen kills him. So Zeus gets saved by Karia the first time, but then he saves himself two times afterwards. So watch what he does. He's going to walk up and ward. Now here, Karia saves him from Jax on the knockback. And then everyone goes on to Zeus, dashes away, gets through, flashes out. Yeah, Keen can't hit him. Oh, he's getting plates in this matchup too. Well, when Jax gets Sunder, it becomes really hard, this matchup. There's a Sunder on Jax, so Zeus is going to struggle a bit now. Stride Breaker. Alright, some spikes coming out. They don't have Proto Belt on Nico yet, though. Or Triforce and Ezreal. Those are real breakpoints for this next Drake spawn. But yeah, this is here. It's got TP. Keen has TP advantage. I feel like this Drake is going to be hard for Kate FT1 to fight, depending on Azir base. Nah, there's no way they can fight this Drake, right? I mean, Guma's pretty strong, but... There's the Triforce. So t will get set up and be able to start the Drake now, I think. Drake's getting low, though. Drake's gone. Get relatively split up. Yeah, it's gone. Able to collect themselves Ezreal was too late out of base. It's, I think they weren't really intending on fighting him by looks at it. I actually thought T1 would give that, but... Yeah, I guess bot base situation. And Faker had push. Even with TP advantage, they dropped it there, KT. Kuma got stopwatch. Did he have stopwatch from his runes, or did he just buy that? Makes sense. Against Nico, Nico Nocturne. Stopwatch and Galio as well, I guess. Stopwatch has a lot of value. It's not Does Faker have Crown in base? Hmm. Well, KT on snowballing very hard. They haven't really Nocturne ulted, Nico ulted anyone yet, but I mean, in mid-game it's still strong. T1, I think, have more damage, though. 
Lucian. There's the first pull on the trigger. Get the sums out of Lucian. Tanks the entire culling. Trisha Barrage goes wide. And she's going to go golden. Okay, can they lock it down? Aiming. Does manage to Nice knock by Carrier. Oh, Carrier oh, smurfed it. Is pretty dangerous, but nice TP from Zeus. It, well, so it backfires. Their first pull of the trigger backfires. Oh, it's so good for T1. That's the stopwatch. The stopwatch. That's the stopwatch diff. Flash combo. Keen's dead. Nice stun. Oh, exhaust. Uh, KT are getting murdered. They are not pulling any triggers on this Nocturne Nico properly. Like It, it feels like they're not really getting fights. The first one was just... Dive comes TP diff on bot so. and misplay. And Keen, now Keen gets now caught. On the way of T1 here. They have the faster group up. Keen isn't here. Nice W by Cuz. Yeah, feel like Keen needs to TP in here and they need to take this fight. The oh, the Herald reset. Across. That's unfortunate. They, the reset. they just invested Maokai ult for that. But Zeus is so tanky. There's the TP. Herald's gone. I think they're out, you know. Paranoia is wasted. T1 can walk up now. How does BDD get in here against Alistar, Maokai, Kassante? So hard to get in. Wow. T1 gets Herald. They get second Herald. They get two Drakes. Their shotgun isn't working, KT. Mid tower's dead. That's the second herald on mid tower. Faker TP's top to hold tier one. Ooh. What the fuck? He didn't even have aggro. And he has no tower here. Is he dead? And so Keen deciding that he's going to need to try and turn this. They nocturnal to, to try and cover him, but that's a fucking Sunday's, waste. And they realize that there's no nocturne coming because he just wasn't in range. They tried to fake it out. God, KT is. And Keen now going to press that counter strike button. Looks for a what is KT doing? They can do Nash now. And now they have no nocturnal. This is good by T1. Really good. Point, the, the, the Nash is gone. Is nocturne can't even get in the pit. Now T1 should just play to disengage. Oh, he got the Azir, but he doesn't have damage. He's playing with an Ezreal and a Nocturne with no ult. Zeus just 1v3s him in the back. He will die. Oh, he won't die. What? Oh! Oh, they're all out. Apart from Carrier, he's dead. TP bot to hold tier 1 as well. No objective bounty. Oh, this game's over. T1 playoffs form activated. BDD goes in, but what what do you do? Galliold got cancelled. Aiming's getting uh, fighting by against Zeus. Kaz has no ult. Keen's dead. Zeus lives somehow when he buys all that time to stop them from being able to follow up on anything. This game looks pretty done. I don't know how T1 can... Uh, KT, sorry, can come back. Ooh, the solution's getting strong. I even think Guma... I wouldn't blame him here because of his runes to go GA third, you know? I don't think their scaling is that big of a threat. GA third doesn't hurt. Zonya's GA, it's over. On, uh, I mean, he could go BT here, right? But I think he should just go GA. Baker gets Zonya's. It's over. They don't have damage. They don't have damage. And then, this is it, when your comp falls behind or it's even game states where you're playing this Nico Nocturne, they get defensive items. Yeah, you have no chance. Okay. Yeah, Guma's going GA, it's really good. You'll have it after red buff base. It's GG, I'm telling you. One, they, have to be really they need Rabidons on BDD, and then they need to go fight. But yeah, stopwatch on Faker, Crown, GA. Flash on Lucian's down, but... Can they get there in time? Oh, he went in so early. <laughs> One shot. Yeah, BDD can't even get in range. That's done. Zeus is going to live again, isn't he? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, Faker died. That's done. Aiming's cooking. He's missing everything. Aiming missed everything. This GA didn't even proc.
T1 just and absolutely dumpstering them here a little bit, I have to say, and this is not close. It's not close at all. Ooh. Well, it's not. Maybe a bit too far. Oh, the W on the buffer was really good on the cancel. Like they can't go in. TP? I don't know if they can... Can they? It's going to have to be Guma to save them. As there he goes, headbutt just to get rid of it. Oh my god, T1. Go Zeus. So oh, they're making fun of them. The are to really they're making fun of them. Radiant Virtue. Face Rush. I mean, KT, why do they... Maybe they were scrimming with this comp, but why they tried to copy T1's comp? They just did nothing. They just tried to do the exact same thing. The loser goes to lowest bracket, the winner goes to upper bracket. There's nothing else. No one gets knocked out or goes to Worlds here. TP behind. Okay. This is a flank and a half on a ward. And they just go forward, don't they, T1? Guma has everything. They have so much defense. That's going to keep them away from the president. Land's going to be taken down here as once again, carrier play and bouncer. Zayas doing the same thing. The Q3 is going to be fantastic. Faker picking up a bunch of kills. Yeah, GG. Keen said. Yeah, Keen, you've got a really cool counter strike, but I don't think it's going to be saving this Zayus game. Zayus is Back farming them the for damage. Gumi, is she going to lock down that Milking them. T1 will dominate KT wow. in game number three. Wow. Game one, not I mean, I think KT will choose blue side again. And they will but change the up the this shotgun draft that they're playing. Because well that ain't working at all. I think the Lucian Zeus kick was actually really good as well. But Zeus is completely 1v9. I don't know. Alistar seems OP. Zeus is 1v9ing. The side lanes are just... Side lanes for T1 this game. This series just... Yeah, too good. Back to casters, baby. Get me into game. T1 winning would be funny. The only reason it would be funny and would be good is because the memes are crazy good. The memes are crazy good. I want T1 to win. I want T1 to win. Go T1 win. I think T1 will run it back, you know. I think T1's happy if you want to play your cringe Nico Nocturne. Oh, they banned their own Nocturne. Aha, can't play Nocturne if we ban it against ourselves. Why do teams target owner so hard? Why do they do this? Teams always target owner. Why? Wow. Triple aiming ban, triple owner ban. Is it Nico time? Or is it Alistar first pick, actually, I wonder. Nautilus is open, though. Aatrox time. Is it Aatrox time? I'm not sure if it's Aatrox time. If it's Aatrox time, it's Aatrox time here. I think it's Sejuani Alistar time. Or Azir Alistar time. Or... I think they have to pick Sejuani, right? Nico pick could work, yeah, but... me. I like Sejuani here. Okay, Nico's fine. I, I I don't mind the Nico too bad, too much. It's a faker faker special at this point. He mains it. KT could play a Rel game. They could play a Jax blind. They could play Nautilus. Yeah, Nautilus Rel here. I don't mind it. I don't mind Gragas flex here either. Just playing Gragas support into Alistar is good. I don't mind Gragas flex, especially if you if you drop Nautilus pick and just go Gragas Sejuani or something. And then pick Jax later on. I'm surprised no one's playing Gragas support into this Alistar blind. Maybe it's because it's not that good. Oh well. I mean, Lehen's Nautilus is a classic. Real Nautilus, nothing surprising. T1 here could do AD. They could do Rumble. They could do Aatrox. They could do Sejuani. They could do... Okay, we need Jax Fiora bands if we do that. I think it's a mistake if they don't ban Jax Fiora. KT could try and take away a lot of firepower from the game. And deny Sejuani. Deny Draven. I mean, I think Keen will get Renekton. I think they're blundering if they ban Renekton T1. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I think the, the Renekton ban is a bait. I really think Fiora here is the play. I think it's Fiora. I think what they should do is pick Fiora Azir, KT. Tristana bot. They should do Fiora Azir here and put Tristana bot, I think. If aiming plays it. Oh, I hate the Varus. I hate it. Well, Renekton I don't think wins you the game. But they're gonna go for it. It's Keen's one trick. Varus AP. Oh, God. Oh, Instalok Samira, baby. Guma time. Uh, I'm leaning towards... Although they're playing Aatrox, Alistar, Nico. Samira, Nico is really, really... Can be flip Samira, Nico. I think KT's gonna lose that game. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Every game I've seen this champ, it loses. I feel like Varus, Skarner are the two champs that I see lose every game. He's playing on hit Varus as well. On hit Varus against this? Is he really gonna hit? Is he really gonna be able to hit? 15 2 on Renekton? Yeah, he was 15 1. Oi, what? Uh, not super worth it. It's actually even overall, I think.
Samira, zero CS. Oh, he's playing Soul Fighter Samira. Actually, I think T1 can win even harder now because when he presses R in a team fight with Nikold, I think KT's PCs might crash. Good tactic, actually. Maybe we can crash their PCs to win. Match point. KRL finishes full clear. Viego's done the same, but he's already based. The only bad news for KT is if they win game 5, T1 gets blue side, right? Uh, game 4, sorry. Game 5, they'll have side select, I mean. I mean, this. shut up. First rake to T1. Is he gonna go for this, cuz? He's gonna get knocked out the pit by Carrier, no? <laughs> is it a dive here? As he decides not to need to go now. The turret, as that is a uh, Dominus. As BDD's moving in. Zayas well, that was really explode. easy by KT. Just... KT Not much counts play there for Zeus, really, is there? And what we, what, okay. Nice hook. hook. Should be dead here, Carrier. Good kill for KT. Ooh, uh, this is how game one kind of went. You don't want this T1. Really good setup by KT. Nice ward by Keen. Keen is putting so much pressure. Look at the triple ward topside. He should know that there's a Viego here. So, oi, that pink. Okay, Guma no cleanse. I think Guma 1v2s, maybe. Nice flash by Carrier. Oh. Can maybe get Rel flash here. Maybe? Nah, they're on the damage. Uh, Renekton ult was two seconds away from uh, coming up. Keen should be able to TP top, but that Herald going over would be huge for T1. Whoa, really nice hex flash by Carrier. Carrier is playing down. so well this series. In, He's out though, two, unfortunate. So K uh, T1 yeah. give up Herald. So KT get that. Now Herald with Tristana is really annoying. Ooh, into owner stun, but he doesn't get the knock then. He has one more E. Keen. I okay, I can see what Carrier was doing there, but. Carrier yeah, pushed out top wave to dive. <laughs> I don't know if they can dive this guy. Carrier has ult though. Bit risky. Oh, I don't know about this one, Carrier. You might be in trouble here. He's just fucking headbutting everyone, man. He don't give a shit. And he's out. Is he out? Bro, Carrier's just walking around headbutting everyone. What the fuck's he doing? <laughs> he hasn't been bot in like 10 minutes. <laughs> What is Samira building? Uh, I think she goes collector first item or eclipse or something and then shield bow. I, I can't remember the build very well. Guma's gonna get- oh my god, Guma just- oh Guma that was disgusting. Oh my good heavens. Kuma is griefing. Did you see that? Oh, Kuma. Yeah, this is a game five. I don't know, that looks so... Like, bronze by him. He, like, eat... He, like, didn't do anything, then he eat in and just got hooked. He didn't even W it. I don't know, we won't, we won't call out Kuma. Kuma's been smurfing. And he's been dealing with a lot. In brackets, Poby. The last few weeks. But here, watch Kuma. Q, auto, runs out of Barisult, and then he just ease into a hook and dies. Okay, uh, they're trading sides. Carrier once again, just gonna headbutt someone. Nothing will happen. They get his ult, but he wants to headbutt them. Maybe he wants to headbutt him again. <laughs> no, I can get it. Maybe Faker's like, it's game four, right? So Faker playing five PCs, he's getting a bit slower. So he can't lane with Alistar. So he decided to run around the map with Alistar while he's laning. Four games in, you know? It's getting kind of hard to control five PCs. Uh, Guma doesn't have anything yet. It looks like he's going Duskblade or something, but he doesn't have shit. I mean, BDD can't kill him. Oh, unless he W'd the wave. Did he W the wave? Oh, Guma. We're going to Silver Scrapes. Unless Samira randomly one-shots everyone, which I've seen before, but... Unlikely. Renekton, Rel, Nautilus, hard. As BDD coming over. Wait, is, is Diego one shot here? Oh my goodness, just into the bouncing yeah. castle. His owner is just going to get lost hit by BDD. Uh, T1 are all over the place here. Faker's going to die now. And Carry is on a flank recalling again. Drake's up in 40. They have Herald. KT are murdering. Well played. Top dive early was good. BDD roaming around the whole map. Lehens trying to match Carry as much as he can. Aiming was doing well. 
uh, finding the same I don't know. Page. I love that seeing it from. I see uh, Rel Jungle win every game as well. Like, am I? Like, I, know, I know I'm, I'm not going to be a, a, a results based Endy here, but every time I see Rel Jungle in five game series, he just wins every game. This champ just looks absurdly broken. Even in the Weibo game, when they were so far behind, there was 8k down or something, the Rel just. Oh, it's terrible engage. Will Guma get an ult off this game? There it is. Guma's won. Get him, Zeus. Oh, I get him, Zeus. Oh, the root landed onto BDD. Can Zeus get BDD? That's so important. No, he can't. They don't have that much damage. They need to get these kills here, T1. They need to get these kills. Has he got Gore Drinker Keen? Oh, BDD TP'd in. Guma spinning. Okay. Zeus and Guma managed to save that fight a bit. The initial engage from Nico was weak, but it was the Samira's Aatrox getting onto the Varus. KT are lucky that BDD didn't die there as well. The engage from T1 was bad. Like, look at this. The Nautilus tanks everything. The combo was weak from Keria, the, the Nico was weak, but Zeus gets a kill here on the Nautilus. Ults gets Dustblade. No jump on BDD, no flash on aiming. Guma lives on 1 HP on the knockback. Q flash by Zeus. They lose the pit fight because three carries left. But, um, yeah, they get out, so they don't really lose anyone. Okay, maybe we're, well, you know, we don't call it too early, but Guma is now back in it randomly. He did get a nice fight. Well, I mean, I'm looking at Nico items. I can tell you Nico doesn't do damage, but... But... Aatrox and Samira are cooking. They need next item on Zeus. I'm not sure what his next item will be. Do you think he'll go Edge of Night? I don't know. Looks like it. And then, it's just a case of... Yeah, there's the Edge of Night. It's just a case of... Dive, dive, dive. No flash on Varus means KT, I think, are playing a little bit safer. Nash is up, though, and they're playing double AD carry with two items, so they murder that Nash. They melt straight through it. I wouldn't be surprised to see KT look to force an Ash soon to get Zeus TP. Oh, that ward by, K by T1 there is quite nice. It's giving them so much vision that ward is carrying them right now. Otherwise, they'd have to face check a bit. They don't have any blue orbs either. That ward is doing so much. That's fair. One ultra wave dies. That ward is doing so much. There's no pinks on KT either. I can tell you for a fact the coaches of KT are telling them next game, if this does go to next game, that ward... <laughs> we need pinks in pixel brush past 20 minutes. That ward is doing work. All right, 50 seconds on Drake. Easy objective if KT want to just pick that up. There's no real threat of a T1 Baron rush. Their Baron is quite slow. T T1 are actually setting up to fight this. They don't have Collector, but Guma can really cook if he gets uptime. Not sure why he's tanking Drake, but here we are. Carrier ulted. They kind of need to go now, T1. They just wasted carry ult. Faker. Oh my god, they got BDD. Holy fuck, Faker. But they lose, they lose, they lose. What? I told you guys to Renekton. Everyone's diving past him. It's the Renekton that has to carry. Holy fuck, how did Keen just one-shot everyone? BDD insta-died. What? That was so clean by Faker. Did they all just stack on, on top of Renekton, Rage, Q, Gore Drinker, EE? And a rel? Did they overcommit there? Gets knocked up. Oh my god, it's a five-man stack. E, Q, Gore Drinker, E. Oh my god. Insane Nautilus ult, rel ult. Oh, we're in round two. Karia's caught. He was probably looking for a flank there. That's Baron for KT. I don't know if they... I mean, I guess, I guess the theory now is owner can't get over the wall. But the counter theory is it is a 5v5. Zeus has a really good position on aiming. Oh, Guma spinning. Nice stopwatch. Down they go. Keen kills them now, I think. Keen kills them. Yeah. Yeah. That's GG. That's game five. KTT1 is always five games. It's always five games. He has Rage Blade in base now, this Varus. This was the one fight where Aatrox got access to a no-flash Varus, but he couldn't get him. 
carry a face check, dies, they get owner's ult on the Baron. But here, look at Aatrox. He gets on top of Varus, but why can't he kill him? Auto attack Q. Uh, the stopwatch. And then he Q3s to kill the Nautilus. Then he gets knocked back, he has the stopwatch, and then he dies in the stopwatch. Uh, looks like they're gonna have to take a fight. Zeus has TP. Oh, he cancelled his base. He wants his, his tower. I mean, he can keep pushing, but the mid wave's coming in now, so does he go tier 2 and drop Minidib? Does he have... He's getting close to GA, I guess. Not sure if he has gold for GA, though. He does have gold for GA. Alright, well, here it comes. This is the old in from T1. Oh, he got stunned. T1 needs a re... Faker has a TP ward here in this area. They could go for it. I think they should, yeah. They kind of have to. They're just chasing Zeus. It's smart. You can't get collapse on from both sides if you just chase one side. He's going to lose a GA. He needs to ult and flash. Keen's here. He needs a flash if he has it. Oh, he can't flash. He's just going to die. Nah. They're going to end top now. They're going to all run top. Oh, that TP is very early. Where is the damage, though? That was his whole burst there, Faker. Alright, BT on Guma. No Zonyas on aiming yet. Maybe they want to stall that. KT are playing very careful here. Oh, Zeus is really going here, huh? Nice stopwatch. Oh, Guma, nice cleanse. But how does Guma get in here? What is going on? Guma is just... Oh, God, Guma. He's trying to get in there, but he can't. Yeah, that game was doomed. That game was doomed from the get-go. From the from the early early side place. Hard to clutch it with your champs. No damage from T1. Game 5, baby. It's a KT T1 game 5 again. As per usual, it's always KT T1 game 5. Always. I think this Shrasana is a big problem. Alright, KT ban. T1 ban. Nico ban is good. From KT. T1 Ben, I think Kaisa, Nico Nocturne, yeah, Alistar, Tristana, Zeri, fair enough. Surely they ban Nico Kaisa, right? Aatrox isn't a problem. Zaya, Nico Kaisa's up. Tristana ban T1, or are you banning Poppy? What the fuck is going on? Are they first picking Tristana? I feel like KT are double AD Andes. Wait, Nico's open, Tristana's open, Kaisa's open, Poppy's open, Rel's open, Renekton's open, Jax is open, Aatrox is open, Sejuani's open, Maokai's open, Jace is open, everything's open. Now, do they take Rel? Sej is here? No way. Nico? No. Tristana, Maokai? They dropped the Rel. I think T1 should flex Rel here 1000%. Rel, Maokai? Uh, Rel, Jace? Flex? They could do Poppy. Poppy Rumble. Yeah. I like I like Rel Jace. I like Rel Jace. I like Rel Nico. Azir. I like Azir. I don't really like Azir. I don't like Azir. I take it back. Don't pick Renekton on three. Don't do that. Rel. Okay. Fine. As long as they got Rel. Yeah, they take Renekton on three here now. Don't think I'm surprised from KT. They can ban Rumble. They can ban Gragas. They could ban Varus and... I don't know. Varus Leona? I think Zeus might go Cassante. He can go Cassante, he can go Quinn, he can go Jax, he can go Gragas, he can go Orn, he can go Poppy Top. Targeting Zeus is hard here. He can go Aatrox. What are we banning? He has so many picks. Rumble seems like an easy one. Keen really struggled against Rumble. Lulu, they're scared of Aphelios Lulu. I think they're gonna pick Varus on four. Unless Amy wants to play Esriel, but I don't think you should play Esriel versus Kai'Sa. Aatrox Rumble. I don't think that affects Zeus at all. Rakan is good, Ben. They have they have Jax, Gragas, Cassante, probably. They could also play Rel support here and play Poppy, I think, T1. This could be great for them. Here, I think they have to go Varus, right? They could flex Tristana and play Ari, but... Keep it simple, keep not it great. 
opens up Poppy even more. Leona, yeah, I think Leona's fine. Keep the Trisana. Yeah, Leona's fine. I think Poppy, Poppy Cassante here is 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 good. Poppy Jax is good. Poppy Orn is good. I think Poppy Top is also fine if they want to play like Poppy Brown. Uh, Brown shit. Yeah. I was thinking Brown too, but I thought it was bad. Okay, they're gonna go Rel support Sejuani. I think the Poppy might have been better. I think this just gives you way too much AP. You're full AP now. And I think Poppy is just stronger against these champs. Also, I think owner's Poppy is top tier. Seju is mostly AD. It doesn't matter about damage here. Like, mercs are just great for them now. Draven! Oi. So, stakes for this game. If KT win, they go to the upper bracket finals. They don't lock worlds. T1 goes to the lower bracket. T1 win. T1 goes to the upper bracket finals. They don't lock worlds. KT goes to the lower bracket. No huge, no huge stakes, no worlds locks. T1 only locks worlds if they get to the finals, not the upper bracket finals, okay? T1 need to win this and the next series to lock worlds. No one locks worlds, no one. Needs to be the finals to lock worlds. If you win this, you're not in the finals. 1, 4, 4, 7, oh, the Poby effect. Zeus proxying, he did this in game 1, be careful Zeus. He died doing this last time. This time though, he's not as low. And Keen's catching a wave. BDD's moving though. It's the same as game one, Zeus. Don't do this. Maybe you can kill Cuz here though. Holy shit, they're 2 v 3 them. Is Ono gonna die because of this again? Oh my god, it's the same as game one. It's the same as game one. I mean, this is gonna hurt Zeus the most. It's not gonna hurt Ono. His top wave's also a bit sus. Oh, Faker dashes in. He goes in. I see this often on Azir. When the Tristana jumps in, they just stack soldiers in ear. Uh, owner used Q on BDD. If he had Q flash here for Kuz on the stun, dead. He's fine, I think, Zeus, in this lane. He still has TP. Oh, uh, owner really wants to do something top, doesn't he? He's gonna take his Krux. Does he get six off Krux? He might actually get six off Krux. They're getting Drake for this. As long as Keen doesn't die, say you space TP, this gives Keen the opportunity to just push out on base, I think. Owner didn't get 6 off Krugs. Nah, there's nothing to do here, Owner. He's really trying to do something top, but he can't. I wonder if Guma's going AD Kai'Sa this game. I think he kind of needs to. He has lethal tempo, no DMAT. I think he is. I've seen lethal tempo AP Kai'Sa with no DMAT before, but so I'm not really sure yet, but... Kai'Sa is really zoned from bot. Look how zoned they are from bot because of this Herald. I don't think Guma's getting any of these waves. They don't have TP to cover either. They can't go underneath this tower. Baker's dead. Huge solo kill by BDD. Oh, this Herald was not worth it. Owner's still topside. They're gonna try and three-man dive top? Yeah, this could work. If Keen lets the wave crash, Keen could ult and stop the wave from crashing. No, he's just gonna have to tank this. Good play by T1. Kill onto Zeus is huge. That should be Sunder on Zeus. Alright, so top matchup is skewered back. Bot is doomed. If mid was even state and that didn't happen, this would actually be T1 favored, I think. Never mind. Zeus greeted. Zeus got greedy. KT is in a great spot now. Why is Keen Zeus greeting for this wave? He's overstaying so hard. He even knew Leona was topside. I think the, the reason he does this is maybe he didn't have Sunder or Gold. He does have Sunder though, so he probably needed it from the wave. Now the biggest thing is the Draven Cashin. He gets about 650 gold right now on a kill. Second Drake for KT. Ideal scenario here is a Cloud Soul. They're trying to dive top again. Keen's playing it safe. This should be first tower to Zeus. So you can see here it's just a trade-off. Hard top side versus hard bot side. Yeah, they have TP on Faker. BDD can match. So, Zeus, despite falling behind, is now ahead. That helps their side lane a lot. I think Keen did pretty well to actually stay kind of even. He's been playing 1v2, 1v3 for about 6-7 minutes. Okay, level 8 on Kuz now, so owner's up a full level. It is Cloud Soul, so that's good for T1. Surprise Draven went for Tabi, so I guess he has Cleanse. But it's only really, I guess, Kai'Sa Jax. 
Cool. As the glacial prison, it's going to interrupt the back there from Kane, who's going to slice and dice and carry a Mr. Stun. Within flash range and does flash oh, they blundered it all. Zeus so had to flash for it. They had to overinvest a bit too much there. They're going to lose a bot tower for that. In the lane, but that ain't Baker should be able to clean so. this the wave. Trying to kind of ult top to kill Carrier. And we've seen this before, not because Kane is playing as poorly. Oh, he based just in time, oh, and owner blocked to it too. Yeah, so this I'm game, a lot is on Zeus. Players, Guma's still, been doing well to stay um, even. Faker's still a little bit behind. Herald fight. Do they take this T1? Faker TPing in. Lehens can get a nice ult. Yeah, it's not going to go for it. Didn't have vision. This is the Jack's flank here. Zeus needs to be careful not to get instantly one shot. Did he spotted him? He's pinging him. Smite fight. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Maokai ult. Can't hit the eye. KT. Oh, owner run that smite. Nice knock by BDD, but that gives him access to Keen. But now this Leona ult was really good. Zeus will die. One for one. T1 should try and get out here. Guma's going to die. Wow, Guma. That was crazy good. Well played from both sides. That smite by Owner was clutch. Cuz Cuz had the auto on the eye for smite, but Owner got it. That's huge. That is huge. I didn't expect him to be able to dash that far. My God, what the hell? How did he get this smite, Owner? Look at this position. Look at this position from Owner. Cuz has the eye. Wow, oh, man, that's fucking quick. That was slow mo. Nine seconds on Drake. Soul point. I think T1 is because they can. They got the Herald right. One for one and Herald. They lost sums on Guma though. It's just a case of Draven. He has 400 stacks right now. Draven has 400 stacks. If he gets a kill, he gets about 1k gold. They really need to be careful with Guma here, T1. He doesn't have ult, he doesn't have cleanse, he doesn't have flash. They could herald for mid push, but KT will just kill it. That's how much prior they have. Zeus pushing bot. Keen's grouping to secure it. Draven stacks is 2.5 times the gold on the kill. Plus the kill gold, plus. Oh, Carrier. Zeus, nice E. Got good backline access there. Keen's down, but Zeus will die too, I think, unless he can jump out here. Oh, the reset from. Uh, aiming didn't get it. Zeus wants to base in TP. Faker! Can they get aiming? No flash on Draven now, but Faker's gonna die. Can Guma get him? Can Guma get him? Guma got him. T1 wins that. Oh, BDD got the kill on the back half. He gets a reset. Cuz will die, maybe. No face rush. Yes. No smite either. Carrier wants Lehens too, but that's not going to happen. BDD tempo TP top to try and get top tier one. Oh, this is the BDD show this game. Keen is dying so quick. Aiming has lost his stacks. It's a BDD game. Game is still pretty even, I would say. It's just a case of breakpoints for, for BDD. He needs to get that Navorian. I think it's pretty even. And KT, I think a Baron start soon is not bad. Jax has no TP. This could be a Baron trigger here. Keen's grouped. Jax is bot. Lehens can play to die with Keen here. If they just mark owner. Mistake by Zeus, maybe. Let's see if it backfires for KT. I don't think they should play for the turn. They should play for the finish. Cuz is not sure what to do, though. They're disengaging it. They're disengaging it. They're going to lose mid tower for that, though. That's a terrible tempo play, then. They're going to lose all map control. I think they should have committed there. I think Lehens would die, but I can tell you, LPL flips that. Yeah, it's true. LPL full sends it. They know Owner will outsmite. Yeah, but Owner has no flash, and they have Leona, Renekton, and Maokai ult. I feel like they have enough lockdown to zone him away to finish and get out. They would probably lose one or two and mid tower, but it's probably worth overall. Anyway, nothing really came of that other than losing a tower mid. But yeah, T1 are scaling. That's a two item Kaisen now. Baker's getting close to Nashers. I feel like KT might need to force something soon this is not getting any better Jax is bots with TP and he's two levels up so bot tier one is dead T1 position is good here that bot tier one is gone okay he didn't commit to it I guess he he's just chilling I thought that he would be late there Carrier is quite far up and Guma's basing I think they have to give here I wonder if KT wants to force Jax TP because this side lane is a problem when Faker gets Nash's tooth I think mid gap like of gold is kind of irrelevant they're both going to be matched on items. He does. Well, Faker's strong now. Keen needs a stopwatch as well. Keen needs stopwatch. BDD needs... He needs Dominic's. It's BDD game. Keen needs stopwatch, though. He needs it. T1 shouldn't be too afraid to start looking at an Ash soon, though. On Guma's base. What does he have in base? Nothing yet. BDD level 16. 
He should have red buff on Lord Dominic's now, after top wave as well. He should have it, so... Why does Faker have a shutdown? What the fuck is going on? T1 needs to throw everything at BDD. If he even remotely comes a step forward, this Rosanna has to die. He has no QSS. This Rosanna has to die. PD on Guma. And for KT, I don't know, to be honest. They just need to pray for a front to back where they can out-damage and get uptime on their, their carries. Maybe wait for a Bloodthirst on aiming. I think aiming BT will bring him back into this. Because then he can match three item. T1 must know that Draven has to take a base timer soon. Aiming needs to take a base. They need to drop Drake here, KT. And then they need to start contesting midwaves harder. Here's the base on Draven. Stopwatch on BDD. Now here comes the fight from KT. Now they're really going to send it. Because this is it. This is it. This is the strongest they'll get. That's it. Go full send now, KT. Or GG. If they wait any longer, this Azir is just going to take over. He might even have Void Staff in base right now. So I think Cuz is going to get melted. Cuz is going to get absolutely shredded in these fights. Alright, here comes the force now. KT will start playing a bit more aggro. Game will be decided in the next 3 or 4 minutes. They don't have any, don't have any pinks really, do they? they? Need some pinks here, KT. Here they go. Oh, Carrier! BDD died. He couldn't get owner. That's Nash. You sure you want to do that, Amy? Faker's TPing. Faker's TPing with ult. Aiming's gonna die. Oh, Keen got him. But Faker gets him back. Uh, T1's gonna win. It's over. Never get excited. What happened to BDD? What happened to BDD? Oh my god! Carrier saved owner. And then BDD flashes to try and kill or something. No, he tries to kill Guma. Oh my god. If he got that kill onto Sejuani, he would get the reset. They would prefer that stay up. It's not going to happen here. His owner may have been caught out of position yet again. Taking oh, where am I die here? But Faker is unleashed now. It's three inhibitors. KT have to just send it here. They can't lose triple inhib. They don't have any wave clear. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's done. T1 wins. That's GG. That is GG. How do they always do it? How do they always do it, T1? Is it like a fucking plot armor? What is this all about? T1's gonna run in an end now. They could wait for Faker Rabadons and TP in, but they're gonna push in all these lanes. They can't hold this. The thing is, Azir with triple inhibs down, the range is crazy. Oh, there's the GA. Aiming belly scratches them, but Faker's caught. Faker's caught. But Zeus! Oi! They can hold here a little bit longer here, KT. Faker got caught. Wait, hold up. KT can hold for a while now. That's uh, that's not good for T1. So what T1 will do now is they'll wait for Nash, I think. They need to wait for Nash before they start going crazy. Or they all base now and they come out on Faker's TP timing and they go for round two. But yeah, Faker gets hit by Leon ult, Maokai ult, gets stunned, Draven ult. Guma's hitting, but he's trying to hit aiming. 900 gold to the Draven. Good turn by Zeus, stopwatch saved him. He goes to Zonyas, I think. Well, now the question is, do they go for round 2 or do they wait for Nash? Looks like I wait for Nash. 2 minutes on Inips. Uh, I don't know. KT, the only way they're getting out of this is one more fight. They need to go for one more miracle fight somehow. If they can stop the Baron Siege with Triple Inip, they're fine, actually. They're actually really fine. But if they don't, then Triple Inib waves. GG with uh, Nash. If KT leave their base, Zeus is going to end. You really want to fight this, KT? You're dead. It's over. What are they doing? It's over now. GG. They end top. End bot. Go, go. T1 win. T1 pulled it off. They always do it. They always do it. How? How? Upper bracket. So they don't lock worlds. They don't lock worlds, but they're in the upper bracket. 
One more best of five, and they're going to make worlds. Mamma mia. That's, the memes are going to fly now.